Welcome to the lecture, and here we are in the page that is information for about the living caregiver program for employer, the employer guy. And basically, you go to the this website. We can recommend employers to check it, and they can learn everything they need to know about the program and also how can they can use it. So this page will give you the introduction, the information, what they need to do. All they need to follow the rules of the program then they they will need to navigate through these different choices in the left side and when they click to those choices they will find the process of how to apply to hire a caregiver through the program here you tell everything about the program the employer the responsibility of the employer about advertisement, personal contact, hiring agencies, how to find the caregiver, and of course, I'll mention something about job bank, how to advertise there, and similar tools that they can use in provinces like Saskatchewan, Quebec, and the Northern Territories. Also, a link for the Service Canada Center to support those employers and how to find out about the minimum requirement efforts that they need to follow. So this is information pertinent for the employer. If you find an employer that they have the need and they'd like to hire you, but they don't know what to do, well, the first initial place you need to send them is to these links here in the Government of Canada, so they can learn and read about the, the, the process. They can get a labor market input assessment, the step, talking about the need for the valley work permit and information about hiring a caregiver in Quebec with uh, different regulations and specifications of the program and then after they apply they can check the information about hiring a living caregiver the responsibility as employer the health insurance work compensation they have all the link here legal responsibility deductions room and board all this information is linked Links are here available for them for the employer, so they can read all this information about health insurance, to workers' compensation, uh, the legal responsibility of the employer, about taxes with the Canada Revenue Agency, a record of employment. Again, all the pertinent information that they need to know. Information about deductions. Again, go into detail to every single uh, item of the list. So that is a good page to send your employer, if you have a potential employer that never hired a caregiver in the past, where they can start by getting this information, and the link will be provided in the course. I also recommend to check some uh, agencies. In this case, we have the Ontario Caregiver Recruit Agency. They have all the information, the experience they work with immigration consultants that help them process uh, work permit for caregivers. So they establish uh, in Ontario and they have all the information that you might look for and probably as a caregiver you can probably go if I go here become a caregiver they're gonna give you the information about responsibility requirements funding the family you have to apply online and you can probably apply online with them they look like the countries they work and here you click here how to how to apply and think they have the countries that they work with these are the link and the just page is loading you need to fill out an application form with all the information and this agency will contact you back if you meet the requirements for them and we're able to follow up with the process so that's that's another example if you want to become a nanny also you have a Canadian nanny.ca you have a guide for the people the parents that want to sponsor foreign caregivers and they can read all the information that they need to and you can also get a nanny job here they have the older nanny services job nanny agency job au pairs child care babysitting 
all the information in nanny.ca. So they work with Canadian nannies and also with foreigners. So check this website and learn as much as you can. You can sign up for the newsletter and you can check with them. That way they can help you also decide if you want to go as a nanny to come to Canada. Another company that we see here is uh, Trafalgar and you can find a, a lot of company uh, on the internet. Just Google it. As far as they register and they look legit then it shouldn't be a problem but these are the ones that we know you can work with. Here the application for overseas applicant you need to fill out the information attach the document and pictures reference from employers all the documentation they get back to you and here you see all the details step by step okay they have the content information so you know it's not any type of shady company it's basically actually a legit company that have been in business for a long time since 1979 so they have the information about overseas applicant and local applicant the resources you can register with them and again these are some agencies that you can use in your search take a look at it and then if you find any other you'll be happy to send that information to us too, through the course okay so I hope you enjoy this this information. This is basically for employers, but also you can check the employers and apply directly to recruitment uh, agencies or caregivers agency that work with foreigners, and that way we can you can start the process. I hope you find this lecture useful, and thank you very much. Or in summary, this is the end of the section and as you can see we learn about the choices for work if you're studying and working in Canada how to work on campus and off campus and the requirements how to work as a co-op student or intern how your spouses uh, can get a work permit in Canada we learn everything about the postgraduate open work permit for international students after they finish their studies in Canada we also learn about the International Mobility Program, uh, a lot of information about NAFTA and other free trade agreements and the relation with work permit uh, choices that they possess. And finally, we learn about the culture of workers and how to come to Canada as a living caregiver. I hope you enjoyed this section. Uh, we're going to see you in the next section and thank you very much.